You want to check for a specific value within a text and only with DAX. That's pretty easy to do in Power BI. I will show you how to do that. Sometimes you need to look for a specific value within a certain text. For example, let's say we have certain bike products and accessories, and we want to figure out if the product name contains bike, then we would say it's a bike and otherwise it could be an accessory. For this case, we want in the description of the product, look for the value bike. And for example, if I look into motorbikes, it would find bike and then it would be a match and would return true. And also, for example, if I would look in bike for kids, then also it would find the word bike and it would be successful. And on the other side, if I would look within the term helmet, it would not find the word bike and it would return a false. In Power BI, we can do that with the contains string function. The contains string function we could use also in a DAX measure, but I think it's easier to see in a calculated column. Here we have the specific product names, as just mentioned, for example, race bike, mountain bike and helmet, for example. And we can now add a calculated column and we can check if this contains bike and then we use the contains string function. The first argument we have is we have to figure out within which text it's searching for. In our case, it's the column product name. And then we have to look for the text to be found. In our case, we just want to look for bike. If we return true, we will now get a result. So for race bike black, it's true for mountain bike also because it found the term bike. For the two helmets, it's false because it didn't find the term bike. How can we use this now? For example, if I want to do a categorization, if it's a bike or an accessory, I could do this also. For example, in a new calculated column, I could use a switch or an if function, as we only have one argument, I will use an if function. So I will call this category and I will now say if contains string in the product name, the value bike. This is just a calculated column we just did. If this is true, I will give it the category bike and otherwise I will give it a category accessory. Like this, the function is looking if the product name contains bike. If this is true, it will give it a category bike and otherwise accessory. Now, one or another might ask themselves if this is case sensitive, as you already seen, because down here, bike for children started with a capital B and it still returned true. So in the contain string function, it doesn't really matter if I write it bike capital or lowercase, or if I do it alternating, it's at the end always the same. If I want to be case sensitive, there is another function and this function is called contains string exact. And actually it's doing exactly the same as the contain string function. The only difference is it's checking for case sensitivity. So in our case, we should get accessory everywhere because none of the product names bike is written like this. If we will write it like this, we should get a few bikes, the first two and the last one, because it just contains bike like that. The bike for children is written with a capital B. So if I do it that way, it, I will get a match here but not on the other bikes. In our case, we don't need the exact. For us, contain string is sufficient, so that would work, and we can get our category that way. If you want to combine multiple arguments, you could also do that. So for example, if you don't only want to look for the name bike, but also for the color, you could, for example, say if it contains string bike, I forgot the end, and if it contains string black, you can give it a category 
black bike and otherwise it would be just an accessory and as we see only the first one is a race bike black it contains the term bike and it contains black for that reason it's true it's a black bike and all the others are in our case accessories if you have multiple arguments you most likely want to switch from an if to a switch so you could use switch true and then you can check for contain string bike and contain string black in this case it would be a black bike and otherwise if it's only a bike i could give it a category bike and otherwise i can return accessory and if we check the result now we have now a black bike for the race bike and all the other bikes are just bikes and all the helmets and set of tires are accessories as you've seen you can easily use the contain string function to check for a specific value you can also combine them to find multiple values if you liked the video and it helped you i would be happy for a like and a subscribe to stay up to date with the upcoming videos and see you next week.